Good evening and welcome to tonight's Joan Gamper trophy match between FC Barcelona and Juventus. Juventus, of course, the Italian side playing in Serie A, who have made their way to Barcelona for this prestigious friendly ahead of the 2005-2006 season, during which you'd imagine both teams will be looking to win their respective leagues, Barcelona, La Liga and Juventus, Serie A. It's a healthy attendance here tonight for, for this, this match, which is a friendly, but of course it is a, there is a trophy at the end of it, the Joanne, the Joanne Gamper Trophy, which is played every season here at Camp Nou. If there is no winner, in normal time, there will be a penalty shootout. If we if we end the game as a draw, Frank Rijkaard has picked his Barcelona team. It's a fairly strong team. Perhaps the most notable inclusion is that of Lionel Messi on the on the right side of of the attack. Messi made his debut last season for the for the club at the Olympic Stadium against Espanyol in Montjuic. And Barcelona fans will be hoping hoping for big things from him this season and from Ronaldinho, of course, their star, their Brazilian star. He also starts tonight. It's a similar situation in the, in the Juventus front line. They have young forward Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who big things are expected from the Swedish striker who's arrived from, from Ajax who's alongside a more experienced pro, someone who Juventus fans know all, all about, their captain Alessandro Del Piero. There's Joanne Laporta as the players make their way down the tunnel. Barcelona president Laporta. Players making their final, final adjustments before this match gets underway. Few shots of the crowd. Embraces between Cameron AC and Rafa Marquez. Patrick Vieira there in the background. The former Arsenal midfielder. Carlos Poyol there, the Barcelona captain. Two clubs steeped in history, of course, both in Spain and Italy. Another show of the president, Joan Laporta. Camp Nou filling up, filling up nicely. As people prepare for the 2005-06 campaign. Banner there mocking Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid president, and Jonathan Woodgate, their new defender, signed from, from England. As the Barcelona anthem rings out, the familiar sound, and the players make their way onto the pitch. Ronaldinho with a smile. There's Fabio Capello, the Juventus manager. Here we go, the Joan Gamper Trophy, Barcelona against Juventus at Camp Nou. Mm -hmm. 
go through the teams for you in a minute as we just see shots there of Ronaldinho next to Lionel Messi. Here's the Barcelona team. Victor Valdez in goal. Oleguer and Poyol, centre halves. Jovian and Vani van Bronckhurst, left back, Gabriel right back, midfield. Van Bommel, van Bommel and Iniesta, Marquez. And then that front line for you, Lionel Messi, Henry Glass and then Ronaldinho and the Juventus team. They line up with Christian Abiati in goal. In defence, they've got Jonathan Zabina, Robert Kovac, Fabio Cannavaro, Giorgio Chiellini and Gianluca Pesotto. Midfield, they've got Marco Moranesi, Patrick Vieira, Giuliano Gianna Ceda. And then up front, Alessandro Del Piero and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Moments away from kickoff now here at Camp Now is the captains, Carlos Poyol and Alessandro Del Piero. Exchange pendants, the referee flips the coin. And there he is, the young Argentine, Lionel Messi. Lots of eyes will be on him, not just tonight, but this season, as we keep saying. Came over to Barcelona as a 13-year-old. Reportedly, his first terms were signed on a napkin with Carlos Rexac. Big cheer for Lionel Messi as his name's read out. Big cheers for Ronaldinho's name as always. Javi, Samueletu, Maxi Lopez, Deco, all among the Barcelona substitutes today. No shortage of depth to this Barcelona side. Henrik Larsson, the Swede, the man in the middle. Ronaldinho and Messi either side. Larson just offering some words of advice to, to Messi there. Of course, it's an important game for Sweden, Larson against Latan. They're old against their new. Will Latan be capable of taking over for, from Larson when his time is, is up in the Swedish national team? You'd imagine so. And Juventus get us underway. Here at the 40th. Joan Gampa Trophy match, the 2005 Joan Gampa Trophy. Here is Messi, his first touch. It's not, ama not amazing. There's Latan. Can't miss Latan. He's so tall. He comes out wide to Camoronesi. Camoronesi's got Sabina on the overlap. Cut out. Barcelona get it away. Here's Ronaldinho. Vieira across to Ronaldinho. And there's Giovanni van Bronckhurst. Clears it up and there's Oleguer. Goes all the way back to Valdez. Poyol now. Iniesta. Van Bronckhurst. Sends it long. Looking for the run of Larsen. There is Larsen. Finds Van Bommel. And Bommel has it back into the box where Larson is. There's a penal, penalise against Larson for a foul there, and it'll be a Juventus free kick in their own half. Which will be taken by the goalkeeper, Christian Abiati. He takes it short. Here's Cannavaro. Sends it long. Cut out by Poyol. There's Iniesta. There's Larson. Good touch. Iniesta looking for the run of Larson again. Here's Marquez. Fouled. Just a bit of over eagerness there, perhaps, from Gianni Ceda. Ronaldinho looking for Larson. 
Wasn't to be. With Kovac. Cannavaro. Looks long, but there's no one there. And Poyol will cut that one out easily enough. Goes back to Valdez. Valdez comes out to Van Bronckhorst. Poyol. Barcelona settling into this match with plenty of possession. Messi. Iniesta. Larson. Messi. Oh, good from Messi. Good battling. Doesn't quite come out with the ball though. Iniesta does. Marcus sends it back to Poyol. Oleguer. Across to Van Bronckhorst. Ronaldinho. Van Bronckhorst. Larson. Be a Barcelona free kick. Four a foul on Henry Glasson. Which Ronaldinho will stand over. Rijkaard offering some instructions from the touchline. Gabri. He's in Messi. Back to Gabri. Poyol. Niesta. Poyol, all the way back to Valdez. Poyol and Oleguer split. He goes to Poyol. He comes back across to Oleguer. He uses the left back, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. He's looking for Ronaldinho. Can't quite find him. Marquez cuts out the pass and here's Larson onto the loose ball. Not quite. Gianni Cheda helps it back to Appiati, who's immediately under pressure from Larson. Now there's a foul from, from Van Bommel after Appiati had cleared the ball. Now Juventus will look to go in search of their first attack. Gianni Cheda. Comes back to Pesotto. Switches play for Zabina. Jonathan Zabina, the Frenchman now, attacking down the right flank. Comes back inside, a little touch from Cameronese to Vieira. For Zlatan, Zlatan with the shot, just wide. Good play from Juventus from the Italian side. Good effort from Zlatan. Cameronese with a key part in the role, Vieira, Vieira involved. With this little pass here. Zlatan sets himself up and let's go. He's not far away. Valdez will scramble him. A warning for Barcelona. Here's Zlatan. Sorry, Larson over the top, but it will drop out of play for a Juventus throw in, which Sabina will take. Uses Vieira, who is fouled by Iniesta. The Juventus free kick. Juventus with that really, really good chance for Zlatan, which went just wide. The best chance of the opening exchanges so far. And here now is Pesotto. Comes inside. The Juventus free kick. Cannavaro to take. This is Robert Kovac. This is Vieira. Ibrahimovic, Zlatan. Dispossessed by Poyo. Larson with a nice touch. Messi's getting forward on the left. He picked out by Iniesta. Here is Messi. Messi into the area. Cuts back inside. Twist and turns. Fantastic from Messi and the cross for Larson. Brilliant play from Messi. That's what everyone expects from him. And now he's doing it on the pitch. Fantastic. Juventus couldn't deal with him. Picks up the loose the pass from Iniesta. Beat two men in the box. Cut the ball back for Larson, who just couldn't get on the end of it. And that's a chance for each Swedish striker now. Look at La look at Messi. Beats Cannavaro. Picks out a good ball across the box. Larson just not in the right place. It's still nil-nil. Chance for chance for Zlatan, chance for Larsson. All about the Swedish strikers. 
Good play from Messi from the young, the young Argentine, 18 years old. 17 when he made his Barcelona debut. To Barcelona throw him. Taken by Gabri to Iniesta. Gabri sends it long. It's Ronaldinho being pulled by Zabina and he will win a free kick for that. Zabina climbing over his back. Messi again causing problems. You can hear the expectation when he gets on the ball. Despite his years, I know they've got a star here at camp now. As he's already proved in this first half against Fabio Cannavaro, the experienced Italian defender. Poyo, Gabri, Messi again. Lovely first touch and turn and run. Finds Larson. And he draws the free kick. Juventus struggling to deal with Messi early on. Good first touch, good turn. And he was brought down. Free kick, which will be taken by, taken short by Iniesta, who picks it up again. Ronaldinho, Messi, Larson now. Here's Latan. Gives it away to Ronaldinho. Vieira across, hacking away at Ronaldinho. And Vieira might get away from that because it's not a pro, an official competitive game, but in other circumstances, that might have drawn a booking because he just hacked at the back of Ronaldinho there. Unnecessary from the French midfielder, really, considering it is just a friendly. It's Joanne Gamper, 40th trophy match, and here's an effort now from Van Bommel, comfortably wide. After a quick free kick from Ronaldinho. He's a long way out, Van Bommel there, and it's a long way wide as well. Porter once again watches on. Juventus with a throw in inside the Barcelona half is Zabina. Cuts it across, no flags. Chance for Vieira. And it's a penalty. Vieira brought down inside the box. Barcelona will protest. But they let Vieira get away. They let Vieira find space inside the area. And if you look at this pass from Zabina, lovely first touch from Vieira, just as he looks to cross. Giovanni Van Broncos comes through the back of him. And look at this pass from Zabina. He cuts inside. He finds the run of Vieira. Barcelona fight. He was offside. He may have been. But that doesn't explain. That doesn't dissolve. Oleguer of responsibility for what came after and captain Alessandro Del Piero will have the chance to put Juventus into the lead at Camp Nou. Del Piero against Valdez. Del Piero steps up, goal, save, goal! Valdez nearly got across and he looks disappointed not to have kept that out because he got across, he got a glove to it but it's ended up in the back of the net. Del Piero, Juventus' captain, has given them the lead. Here at camp now. It's not a bad penalty from Del Piero. It's low, it's not far away from the corner. It's almost a good save from Valdez. But it just squeezes in after catching the Barca goalkeeper's gloves. And Barca trail Juventus here at camp now. Barcelona nil, Juventus one. Van Broncos with the throw in. It's Barca look for an immediate equaliser. Here's Larson. Henry Larson wins a corner. 12 minutes gone. Barcelona behind to Juventus, but they have a corner.
Corner comes in low. Finds Ronaldinho Larson. No. And Gianni Cheda gets it away. Only as well as far as Poyol, the last man, the last Balsa man he uses. All again to help it clear. Touch from Zlatan. It's Vieira. Been at the centre of the action in this first half. Vieira with a kick to Ronaldinho and winning the penalty. And now it's Juventus who can attack. No, yes, Camoranesi. And it's Zlatan, Ibrahimovic. Finds Camoranesi again. Camoranesi inside the Barcelona area. He's got support. Lovely back heels. Zlatan with the shot. And it's hit the back of his own teammate there. Of Gianni Cheda. And gone behind for a goal kick. Another good chance for Zlatan. Another sight of goal. His second sight of goal in this game. Struck it well. It was going nowhere near goal. It hit the back of Cialini. Rather than Gianni Cheda. We just see Del Piero's penalty again. Now here's Messi. Once again beats his man. Cuts inside. Gives it to Iniesta. Iniesta finds... No, he doesn't. It's cleared, but only as far as Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho, lovely turn, lovely touch. Iniesta comes outside to Van Bommel, just clips off the referee. Van Bommel comes back out to the right where Gabri is not. Van Bommel wanted a free kick. The referee says no, and it'll be a Juventus free kick. Corner, uh, throw in, sorry. As they attack through Vieira, looks long for Del Piero. Del Piero in a foot race with Poyol and Poyol wins it but only can put it behind for a corner which Del Piero himself will take looks to take it quickly does take it goes for goal not a bad effort from Del Piero to try and beat Valdez to catch him unaware but Valdez wasn't unaware and he collects it as near post Ball drops out for a Juventus throw in, which Camoranesi is over towards. Look at this from Ronaldinho battling away. Lovely, lovely turn. Lovely piece of skill to deceive Gianni Cheda and Vieira. Oh, good skill from Ibrahimovic now, but he's fouled by Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. And the Juventus free kick. Fabio Capello has seen his side take an early lead here at Camp Nou through a penalty. Vieira fouled. Del Piero, the scorer. Now they have a corner. A uh, free kick, sorry. Chiellini and Van Bommel in there battling. Free kick taken by Cameron Ace, easily cleared. Runs behind for a Juventus throw in just inside the Barcelona half. Here's Vieira now. Comes all the way back to Kovac. Vieira again. Comes out to Pesotto. Cialini just loses control. Now Zlatan, over on the left. Looks to get to the byline, looks into the middle to who's in there, and it's a good ball. But it's a good piece of goalkeeping from Valdez as well to slide and keep it out from Cialini, who was arriving in the area. Here's Ronaldinho now. Put down on the left of the formation, but he's all over the place today. Certainly not restricted to the left wing, which is where Iniesta's popped up now. Here's Van Broncos who uses Iniesta. Iniesta hops inside Zabina but can't get past Cameron and AC. And now Juventus have the chance to break. Zabina, he's got Cameron and AC down the right, he's got Vieira in the middle. But he puts it out of play because of an injury to, to Andres Iniesta, Barcelona midfielder. Look at that, just a clash there. Not, not intentional, but as Camoranesi and Iniesta came together, Iniesta took a whack to the to the shoulder or the, the upper part of his chest, it looked like. He's down receiving treatment now. As Reichard offers up a few instructions to his left back, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst.
And the Barcelona bench there to sat with Maxi Lopez. And he has to hobbles off to the side. Looks like he should be okay to continue. Doesn't look too badly hurt. Passer give the ball back to Juventus. It's Kovac to Cannavado. And yes, they're ready to come on. He's fine. Good to see. Juventus look for Zlatan over the top. Poyo wanted the offside flag. It wasn't given. Poyo cut out the chance, but he's still angry that the offside wasn't given. Juventus proven a worthy opponent here for Barca. In this Joan Gamper trophy match is Cannavado. Hits the diagonal. Doesn't find his target. Cialini. Here's Poyo just seeing that offside again where he was livid that there was no flag shown against Latan. Barcelona have a throw in now, over on the far side. They're 1-0 down against Juventus. The Serie A side lead through that Alessandro Del Piero penalty after Oliver fouled Patrick Vieira. Now oh, here we go, here's another chance. Here's Zlatan up against Oliver again. Oliver beaten by Zlatan. Fantastic pace and power from Zlatan who gives it to Del Piero and looks to get it back. He does get it back but not where he wanted it, over by the byline and he crosses. Vieira's in there, and Vieira makes a foul on Van Bommel. Going for the ball, he tugged at Van Bommel, and it'll be a free kick to Barcelona inside their own area. Just came over the back of him, the Frenchman. May even have been a handball from Chiellini afterwards. Poyo sends it long, finds Larson. Lovely little touch from Larson. Finds Iniesta. Iniesta wants a free kick for handball. Given against Gianni Che there. Free kick in a good area this for Barcelona. Free kick, sorry, the handball against uh, Kovac, sorry. The Croatian defender, not Gianni Che there. Apologies. And this is in a great position, and Ronaldinho is placing the ball with intent. Abiati looks on. Ronaldinho, Juventus wall is set, Abiati is set, Ronaldinho looks on menacingly. Can he pull Barcelona back into this game? Juve lead by a goal to nil, but Barca have a free kick. It's about 30, 35 yards from goal. Quite central. Ronaldinho steps up, Ronaldinho! It's not far away. Abiati was scrambling, he probably had it covered if it was creeping in. It was a good effort from Ronaldinho. Goes, goes wide of the wall, looking for the top corner. But he couldn't quite find his target and Juve still lead here at camp now. Barca straight back on the attack. Here's Messi scampering down the right. It's been dangerous when he's got the ball so far. What can he do here up against Pesotto? Cuts inside. Can he beat Pesotto? He's still got the ball. He's not beating his man, but... And there's Pesotto across to finally kill the danger. Look for a minute like something might be on. It was a great pass to find Messi. Just one too many twists and turns from the young Argentine. And he couldn't quite get the better of Pesotto. He defended well. Gabri with the Barcelona throw. Finds Marquez. You can only find Camoranesi, who finds Sabina. 
Sabina gets up the right, gets around Van Bronckhurst and gallops away and now finds, finds Del Piero down the right. He's got Zlatan in the middle, Oliguer across to defend, does well. Gives away a throw in, fantastic play from Zabina. Too quick, too strong for Van Bronckhurst. It'll be a throw in which Del Piero will leave to Camoronesi. Vieira getting forward again. It's Camoronesi. This is Vieira. Tony Cheda. Looks for Del Piero, but it's cut. Here's Ronaldinho. Good, to f good, to good work from Vieira there, but it's back to Rafa Marquez. He uses Ronaldinho. He's been very, very deep today, Ronaldinho. He's hardly been over to the left, which has been where Iniesta has been drifting from midfield. And here's Messi. Back to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho finds Van Bronco, switching the play to the left. Appreciated by the home fans here is Iniesta. A little bit too aggressive from Patrick Vieira in the back of Iniesta there. It's his second foul of the night, Vieira. He drew, he drew the penalty, but a couple of late challenges. That one on Iniesta and another one on Ronaldinho, which could have drawn bookings in competitive games. And Rafa Marquez just getting there before was Latan. Marquez again. This is Gabri. He's playing it right back tonight in place of Belletti. Gabri again does well. And here's Larson. Can he make it? No. Good defending from Cannavaro. Puts a foot through and gets it clear. Hank Tenkate there. Rijkaard's assistant screaming something about Messi. For Messi to come in the middle, I think it was. And here is Messi now. Gets to the byline. Messi cuts it back. Fantastic from Messi, but there's no one there. To take advantage of the pullback, more dangerous play from the from the Argentine. In the end, it was Gianni Cheda who cleared it away. Got Messi got the better of Cannavaro there, and he just pulled it back. Just a deflection of Cialini, but here's Larson. Barca still on the attack. Gianni Cheda gets it away again with Del Piero. Good feet from the captain. Fantastic work. He draws a free kick from Rafa Marquez. He knew exactly what he was doing. Pulls Del Piero up, almost in recognition of. I'll let you have that one. The Mexican going straight through. As with Vieira, you'd often see a yellow card for that sort of challenge. Free kick wasted by Juventus, though. Sent straight through to Valdez. Capella looks a little bit disappointed at the ease of which it found its way through. Blancos now as Barcelona attacks. Still a goal down against Juventus. Van Bommel just got a late one there, but it should be fine. Ronaldinho. Messi now in the middle. Larson to the left. Messi picks it up. Fantastic touch from Messi. Looking for the run of Gabri. Well defended. But Messi picks it up again. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho finds Marquez. Ronaldinho. He's got Messi to the left. Instead looks for the run of Marquez, who hadn't carried it through. Cleared away only as far as, as far as Gabri, but now it is eventually cleared by Juventus to Poyol. Ziniesta, Ronaldinho, once again in a very deep position. You want to see Ronaldinho more advanced on the pitch, but so far he's been dropping deep, dictating play rather than creating the chances. But here's a chance created by Iniesta. Larson couldn't quite get on the end of it. Marquez. Finds the right back, Gabri, back to Marquez. He's got Van Bommel alongside him. What's for Van Bronckhurst on the left? Van Bronckhurst finds Van Bommel. Van Bommel, lovely pass to, to Messi, who's now over on the left. Messi bounces off one challenge and he's fouled, causing all sorts of problems. Messi, that was a cynical little foul, almost frustration at being beaten by the Argentine. And that will draw a yellow card this time for Jonathan Zabina, the French fullback. If you look at the first touch from Messi, hops inside him and Zabina just sticks a leg out, catches Messi in the back of his knee. And it'll be a free kick to Barcelona. Van Bommel with a pat on Messi's head as 
Sabina has shown a yellow card. It's been a good performance from Messi so far. He's looked like the most dangerous Barcelona player with Ronaldinho playing a deeper role. Comes into the air, it's a Larson. Larson flicks it back, there's Messi. Good defending and bus. Juventus eventually clear their lines. Now they look to counter Vieira in an advanced position, but he can't be found. It's a long shot from Van Bommel, is it? Straight at Aviati. Del Piero thought he was fouled in the build-up to that long shot from Iniesta, sorry. Another Barca free kick. Lots of free kicks, lots of niggly little fouls so far. Looking for Iniesta, the pass was cut out. It's Del Piero, he's got Zlatan to the left. Instead he finds the run of Jonathan Zabina, the fullback getting forward. He's got Zlatan in the middle. Zlatan makes the run. Good run from Zlatan. Good touch and there's Del Piero. But it's good defending from Van Bommel who gets in front of him and Gabri carries it away. Fantastic pass from Zabina who spotted the very clever run of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Pass will recover the ball with Van Bronckhorst. In the middle to Van Bommel. There's the one two, still Van Bommel. Draws the foul. It's another yellow, is it? It's definitely a free kick, that's for sure. Van Bommel brought down after a one two. It is a yellow card. Juventus players protesting the decision, but there have been a few late fouls and the ref does need to stop this from getting out of control, even if the Joanne Gamba trophy technically is only a friendly. He can't have players sliding in, doing what they want. He needs to stamp some sort of authority on this game because there's been a couple of late ones from, from Vieira. There was one from, from Oleguer. And Del Piero is booked for protesting that foul given on on Van Bommel, and here's Van Bommel again now to Ronaldinho, he's got Van Broncos down the left, he's got Messi as well. Ball cut out and here's Camoranesi, there's Abiati in the Juventus goal. Pass is still in control, Gabri gives it away and it'll be a Juventus throw in. Some breathing room for, for Juve. Interestingly, Rijkaard's assistant, Hans Zankarte, has been very, very vocal on the touchline today, particularly shouting things towards Messi, moving him around. Messi's moved from, from right to left to the middle. Currently back where he started on the, on the left. Here's Ronaldinho and he finds Messi. No, he doesn't. Zabina's there, but Messi's putting pressure on him. Zabina just manages to see it out. As they collide with a, with one of the photographers there, just behind the behind the goal, who happily sees the funny side of the collision with Zabina and Messi. Good play from Zlatan. This looks impressive so far. Swedish forward. Ronaldinho uses Gabri. Ronaldinho with a chip, looking for the run of Iniesta, just couldn't take it in his stride, just a tiny bit too far ahead of the young Spanish midfielder. Almost for Andres Iniesta, almost. An interesting ball from Ronaldinho. But Barca still trail to that Del Piero penalty in the 11th minute. Won by Vieira, converted by the Juve captain. Given away by Oleguer, but now Barca with a chance to get back into the game. Lovely touch from Ronaldinho, twists and turns. Still Ronaldinho, still Ronaldinho. Fantastic feet. Eventually crowded out. The referee says there's nothing wrong there and Vieira plays it to the right and his camera and AC. Juventus with a chance to break. Ronaldinho looks up. As his teammates win the ball back, it'll be a Barcelona throw in. Fantastic feat from Ronaldinho, but in the end, he couldn't actually go anywhere. He couldn't get anywhere. He was crowded out. He delayed the pass. The first touch was lovely to scoot the ball over the head of 
of Kovac. And then the footwork was brilliant, but three or four defenders got back and that was it, he was crowded out. Here's Van Broncos, comes inside to Rafa Marquez. This is Van Bommel. Now Pollo, this is Gabri. He's got Larson to his right. Gabri uses Marquez, Rafa Marquez now. The Mexican international. Looks for Messi. Ooh, Messi actually goes underneath Zabina's leg there. The referee was happy with that one. Be interesting to see again. Zabina's a rangy, sent a rangy fullback, and Messi isn't the tallest, so he was able to squeeze under his leg. If he was a bit taller, he might have been clattered in the face there. It's Barca attack again with Iniesta. Now Larson. Henry Larson uses Ronaldinho. He's got Iniesta to the right. Van Bommel back in the middle. Instead, he chooses the run of Van Broncas. Fantastic pass from Ronaldinho. Van Broncas with a cross. Blocked by Cameron AC, and it'll be a Barcelona corner. Well, no one saw that Ronaldinho ball coming. He had options right, he had options in the middle. But it was a run from Giovanni Van Broncas, which he found. Fantastic pass. Van Broncas just couldn't quite get the ball into the box. But he did do enough to win a corner. Barca's second corner of the night. Taken short, taken what? Taken low again, and once again easily dealt with by Barcelona. By Juventus, sorry, and here's Puyol. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho up against Pesotto. Chooses to come back to Puyol. He uses Oleguer. Oleguer comes across to Van Bronckhorst. He's got Iniesta in support. Uses Larson. Lovely first touch from Larson to Van Bommel. Who's denied. Cut out by Vieira. Camoranesi. Camoranesi goes long. He's deflected. Is the flag going to go up? No, it's not. And there's a great chance for Juventus to make it too. Here we go. And Zlatan, just, Del Piero, just couldn't make the chance pay. There was, everyone was expecting the flag. It was deflected off a of Barcelona defender on the way over the top. And Del Piero, one-on-one -on -one with, as we see here, when the initial pass is played, he's onside. Poyol still getting back. But Del Piero could not make the opportunity play. Vialdez was off his line. And it's a chance gone for Del Piero to score his second of the night and to double Juventus' lead. Ronaldinho now with the free kick. Camoranesu carries it away. Free kick wasted by Barcelona. Foul by Van Bommel. That should draw a book in because that was a... Cynical foul as Cameron AC led a Juventus attack there. Van Bommel looked disappointed, he moaned slightly, but there's nothing he can do about that. It was a definite foul, definite yellow card. Cameron AC got away from him, pulled him back. Mark Van Bommel goes into the book. Headed on by Cialini, looking for Zlatan. Looks to bring it down. So good defend from Oleguer this time. He gets it away. And now here's Messi with a chance to run again up against Zabina. Cuts inside, hacked down. That'll be another book in. This time Gianni Ceda, who absolutely sived through Lionel Messi. And there have been a few bookings in this game now. Gianni Ceda adds his name to those in the referee's notebook. Look at that, Messi dodged inside Zabina, who's sprinting through the middle. Similar to the Van Bommel one on Cameron AC just a few minutes ago. Well, Barcelona might be trailing 1-0, but Rijkaard will be encouraged by what, what he's seen from this Lionel Messi performance so far. Started on the right, he switched to the left, he's played through the middle, he's caused problems wherever he's been. And there he is going up in the air with Zabina winning a Barcelona throw in. Which Van Broncos will take. Using Van Bommel. He 
is Gabri. Larsen popping up on the right, Swedish striker. Gabri again. Iniesta. Marquez, nice football. Van Bommel, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho goes for goals, straight at Abiatu, who just gathers it at the second attempt. Better from Barcelona. Good passage of football involving Iniesta and Marquez and Van Bommel, the midfield three. Ronaldinho with a touch, a turn, a hit. Straight down the middle, though. It's Camoranesi for Juventus, good play. Uses Vieira. And Vieira comes wide to to Zlatan Ibrahimovic is dispossessed by, by Oleguer and it'll be a Juventus throw in about halfway inside the Barcelona half. Shots of the Juve bench there. Whether they'll be happy or not with what they've seen so far despite the lead, they've not been Completely on top of this game. Barcelona with some chances. Juve with one really good chance to make it 2-0. Del Piero one-on-one -on -one with Valdez couldn't convert. Now here's Poyol. This is Rafael Marquez. Marquez. Who's Iniesta? Iniesta to Ronaldinho. He's got Larson to the right. Gabri as well, and it's Gabri he chooses. Now Larson drops into the middle, waiting for a ball from Gabri. Gabri cuts back, goes back to Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho's Van Bommel. But he uses Poyol. Poyol switches it to the left, looking for Van Broncas. Van Broncas will collect that with his head. Just keeps it in. No, he doesn't. Doesn't manage to keep it in, the Dutchman. It'll be a Juventus throw in. Just couldn't save. Poyol's scoop pass out to the left. It's hard to tell if it did go in or out of play. It's gone now. Puyol comes back to Valdez. Marquez. Got lots of options. Uses Van Bommel. Van Bommel. Man quick onto him. Switches it out to Van Broncos. Van Broncos again. Love, awkward first touch. Managed to keep it in that time. He's fortunate to draw the throw in. So we see shots of the substitutes warming up. No doubt there'll be plenty of subs at half time or in the second half. Here we go, here's Messi. This is Van Broncos. Messi runs to the left. Comes back inside to Marquez. Got options on the right, uses Poyol. Gabri's there. Iniesta too. Here is Iniesta. Iniesta. Gallivant through the middle. Looks for Messi. Fantastic pass from Iniesta. Fantastic run from Messi. But as with Ronaldinho's ball to Iniesta earlier on in this half, there was just a tiny little bit too much weight on it. And Messi just couldn't quite take it. And it's right. Look at that pass from Iniesta. It's fantastic. And Messi was working hard to get there. And it just ran through to Abiati in the end. Here's Sabina now. Vieira finds Zlatan. Zlatan uses Camoranesi, who's dropped inside for the moment. Gianni Ceda there. Foul goes against Barcelona. It's a free kick to, to Juventus for Iniesta's nudge on Camoranesi. Rijkaard watches on. He's been quiet. He's left a lot of the talk in this half to his assistant, Hank Tenkate. Vieira takes it out to the left to Pesotto. Gianluca Pesotto. Finds Latam with a lovely little flick. Chance, great save, Valdez. Flag was up. It's a fantastic chance for Alessandro Del Piero. A great flick from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's had an impressive first half here at Camp Nou. If we look at the flick, Del Piero is offside. But regardless of that, it was a fantastic save from Valdez. 
And it doesn't mean we can't admire the intuition, the, the flick from Zlatan, which created the chance. It's Del Piero again, battling with Marquez, who wins the ball and is fouled by Del Piero in the process. It'll be a Barcelona free kick. Oliguer finds Marquez in the middle. Back to Oliguer, uses Poyol. So Gabri to the right. I'm not going to use him, he uses Oliguer again. Here is Oliguer. Ronaldinho now, lovely little flick. Here's a chance, a real chance. Flag's up. Flag's gone up. Van Bommel was in. Great flick from. Ronaldinho, Van Bommel was through, but denied anyway, but the flag, denied by the flag and by Abiati in the end. He was offside, he's arguing with the ref. We haven't seen a replay yet. Rijkaard doesn't seem too, too upset with the decision. It was a fantastic flick from, from Ronaldinho, a really, really good piece of play to find the run of the Dutchman. Here's Camoranesi now, looking for the run of Cialini, who slips at the vital moment. And Barca immediately go on the attack with Henry Glasson battling with Cannavaro. And he wins the foul. Draws the foul from the Italian defender. Cannavaro sees the funny side. He doesn't think it was. He doesn't see what else he could have done. A chance for Barcelona here for Ronaldinho perhaps to swing his boot at this free kick. Ronaldinho is over it. Would perhaps suit a left footer. Messi's there as well. Van Bronckhorst. Messi's going to have a go. No, he leaves it. And it's Ronaldinho into the wall and deflected. Messi with the dummy, the left footer. It's Van, Van Bronckhorst left it and Ronaldinho took it straight into the wall. Not as good as his earlier effort, which had Abiati scrambling. Inside the final minute of the first half now. Throw in taken to Van Bronco. Says Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho with another shot over the bar. Could be the last half chance of this first half, which Juventus are leading by a goal to nil. Abiati not really had any saves to make from Barcelona. Ronaldinho saying there's a handball from from Vieira in the wall, which deflected his free kick. The goal kick goes long, runs all the way through to Oleguer, who just nods it back to Valdez. He collects the ball and sends it long inside the final few seconds of this first half. Will there be another chance for Barca? Larson in the air. No, there won't. There goes the halftime whistle of this Joan Gamper trophy match, which Barcelona trail thanks to that man's goal, Alessandro Del Piero, scoring from a penalty after Oleguer had brought down Patrick Vieira in the box. And at halftime, it's Barcelona nil, Juventus one. Welcome back to Camp Now for the second half of this 40th Joan Gamper Trophy match between FC Barcelona and Juventus. The Italian side lead at the break through a 
penalty from Alessandro Del Piero, which was won by Patrick Vieira under a challenge from Ole Gale. That was the only goal of the first half. Barcelona perhaps came closest through a Ronaldinho free kick. And there was a lot of uh, encouragement to be taken from the performance of 18-year-old Argentine Lionel Messi, who started on the right of Barca's front three, switching to the to the left and then coming down through the middle. Lots of changes to tell you about at halftime. Four changes from Juventus. Federico Balzaretti replacing Jonathan Zabina. Manuel Blasi coming on for Giorgio Chiellini. David Trezeguet replacing Zlatan Ibrahimovic and the Romanian forward Adrian Mutu coming on for Alessandro Del Piero. So they're the four changes for Juventus. Three changes for Barcelona. Jorquera has come on for Victor Valdez in goal. Deco has come on for Ronaldinho. And Ed Mielsen has replaced Oliguer, the man who was guilty of giving away the penalty which separates the two teams as Barcelona get the second half underway. Here's Gabri. Looks long for the run of Larsen. Abiati off his line and cleared. And there's a long range strike from Van Bommel, only just wide actually. It moved in at the last minute, it was a good chance. Deco, sorry, with the chance just on for Ronaldinho at half time. And within minutes, he had a chance to draw Barcelona level, firing just wide. It was an opportunistic effort after a poor clearance from from Cannavaro. And look at that, it moves in late from, from Deco. He wasn't far off. And here's Poyol. Ed Mielsen on at half time for Oleguer, sends it long. There's Jorquera in goal for Valdez. Lovely first touch from Lionel Me from from Iniesta. He was looking for the run of Larson. And there'll be a free kick to to Juventus, fantastic first touch from Iniesta who cut inside and looked to find the run of Larson. Free kick taken quickly by Vieira. Sent long looking for, for Mewtwo. There's Trezeguet looking to get in behind but Jorquera quick off his line. Sends it long, one in the air by, by Pesotto. And it'll be a Barcelona throw-in with Giovanni Van Broncas will take over on the left side. Here's Ed Mielsen. Comes out to the right where Lionel Messi is once again. Messi, fantastic turn from Messi to get at Balzarati. Balzarati can, well, he's done well in the end, Balzarati. It looked like Messi was going to get around him. He's Gabri now. Now Marquez. Deco out to Messi, up against Balzarati again. Comes back to Deco. Deco just tries to squeeze inside, but he's well cut out. And his Messi gives away the foul. Just a little bit too keen there to make an impression. It was a good first half from the 18-year-old who made his debut last season, becoming the second youngest player to represent Barcelona in the club's history. This season could be a big season for him in the number 30 shirt. Here's Van Bronco, switches the play. Across to Ed Mielsen, he's got Gabri to his right. Carries on his own for now, looks to switch it to the left, cut out by, by, by Pesotto. Here's Henry Glassen. Niesta now. Bounces off Pesotto. Comes back to Poyo. Straight to Ed Mielsen. Gabri to his right. Deco dropping in. Uses Deco. Deco comes inside to Marquez. Marquez back to Deco. Lovely play from Barcelona. Deco again. And there's space for Iniesta on the left now. And this is Iniesta. Can he keep it in? Just can't manage it. But that was a really nice exchange of passes by Barcelona there involving Deco and, and Mark Van Bommel. Almost releasing Iniesta, who's spending a lot more time on the left since the introduction of Deco at halftime, where Ronaldinho primarily would have been. Although in that first half, he played very, very deeply the Brazilian international before being replaced.
And it'll be a Juventus goal kick. The Italian side 1-0 up at camp now. There's Deco, Iniesta. Larson finds the run of Deco. Lovely first touch. More from Deco. Carries on with the ball. Still going. Still Deco with the ball. Fantastic from Deco. Now looks for the cross. There's Iniesta arriving. Iniesta with the shot force for Messi. And Balzarati is across to cut the chance out and to take the take the pressure away from that Juventus backline for a minute. Fantastic run from Deco. Lovely little pullback for Iniesta. And the ball just didn't drop for for Messi, giving Balzolati that chance to clear the clear the danger. As Juventus win themselves a free kick over on this near touchline. And it will be a throw in now, which will be taken by Balzarati. Juventus with the lead. Ronaldinho takes his place on the bench after being taken off at half time. Here's Gabri. Gabri being pressed, being pressed very well. Forced back to Horkerda. Who finds Rafael Marquez. Marquez with loads of space in the middle of the pitch. Uses Deco. Deco again with Iniesta to the left. Uses Iniesta. Iniesta now up up against. Cuts inside. Pesotto back to Deco. Deco again finding space. Good performances from Deco since coming on at half time. Looks for the run of Iniesta. And Kovac is too strong there. Good defending from the Croatian. Ronaldinho watches on with a necklace with the initial B on it. Marquez. Eto warming up. Surely a matter of time until we see the Cameroon international striker. Especially if Barca continues to trail. And he has to look for the run of Larson. Nabialti off his line. Doesn't gather it his first attempt, but will pick it up at the second. Aviati will take it long. Here's Gabri. Carlos Poyo, the Barcelona captain. Mark Van Bommel. Gabri under lots of pressure from Vieira. He's giving it away and here's a real chance for Juventus now with Adrian Mewtwo. Cuts inside, just run out of play. And it comes back to Vieira, Cameronesi now. Juventus looking for the second goal, they've already got one. Here's Cameronesi, he's got support from Balzaretti. And he draws, draws the free kick just outside the area from Gabri. It's taken quickly and they'll be taken back again. It's taken quickly for Adrian Mewtwo. So we just see that deco foul on Cameronesi there. And it will be Cameronesi to take the free kick. Muto and Trezeguet, two new strikers prowling in the area, replacing Del Piero and Zlatan half time. Good free kick from, Zl from Cameronesi, palmed away by Jorquera. Hugged back here to Vieira. Vieira comes back to Pesotto. Pesotto switches the play. Looking for Cameronesi, cleared by Gabri. Finds Deco. Empty stuff from Juventus is Camoranesi. Good feet and another foul from Deco. The second foul in a matter of minutes Deco has made on Camoranesi. Will be another Juventus free kick in an almost identical position to the one which Camoranesi just delivered. And it's Camoranesi who stands over the, over the ball again. Camoranesi crosses Vieira at the far post. No. Drops behind and out of play, and it'll be a goal kick to Barcelona, who still trail. Courtesy of the Alessandro Del Piero penalty in the first half. Here's Giovanni Van Broncos now. Barcelona looking for a way back into the game. Over the top for Larson. Flag stays down, no. Flag goes up in the end as Larson and Kovac challenge for the ball. There's a late flag. Here's Balzaretti, sends it long. 
Looking for Trezeguet. Trezeguet onto Ed Mielsen, who's had a sloppy touch. Trezeguet pressuring him. Still Ed Mielsen, does well in the end. Goes back to his goalkeeper, Hokeda, who will use Poyol, the other centre-half. Poyol comes out left to Giovanni Des Van Broncos, the Dutch left-back. Comes inside to Poyol. So it looks like Etu's getting ready, doing his boots up. Matter of time before we see Barcelona's number nine. Surely now. Here's Larson. Looks for Messi. What can Messi do out here? He's got Balzaretti for company. Keeps hold of the ball and comes back to, to Deco, who uses Marquez. Sloppy from Marquez. He's dispossessed by Mewtwo. Mewtwo now down the left. What can he do? He's got Trezeguet in the middle. He's going to run at Ed Mielsen. Looks to go outside Ed Mielsen. Hawker is across. Mewtwo half-heartedly asked for the penalty. Perhaps he should have looked to involve Trezeguet in the move rather than go on his own. As Deco gives the ball away now. There's a Camoranesi. Camoranesi looking for Mewtwo. Flag stays down. He's had to be on Mewtwo now. And the flag doesn't stay down in the end. It's another very late flag from the officials. But the Romanian striker are judged offside. And Barca get the ball back here with Giovanni Van Bronkast. Here's Patrick Evra. Vieira, sorry. Barca looking to turn out Van Bommel. He finds Messi on the right. Messi with Bazzaretti. Van Bommel with the effort. Fantastic effort. Just wide. Was it saved? Great effort from the Dutch midfielder. That's perhaps the closest Barcelona have come. It looks like Abiati's just got the faintest of fingertips on it to nudge it wide. He has. He's just tipped that behind. That was destined for the top corner, and it's a corner kick taken quickly. As Barcelona look to keep the pressure on, but no, it's wasted. And now they can break Juventus with Pasotto. Camoranesi. It's a foul. What a save from Abiati. The first real, real save he's had to make in this match. It's a great effort from Van Bommel, teed up by young Lionel Messi. So we see it again here. Just scooping towards the top corner. Gabri dispossessed. There's Mewtwo and only as far as Van Bommel, who looks for Larson. Larson with a perfect touch on the chest. And he just couldn't, couldn't get enough power on the shot. Which Abiati will be grateful for, because that was a real, really fine take on the chest from Larson from Van Bommel's, from Van Bommel's pass. As we just see Van Bommel's shot again there. Which Abiati did fantastically well to tip wide. Ed Mielsen looks for Messi. Can't find him. Patrick Vieira, Balzaretti comes inside, dispossessed by Messi, who beats him on the outside, still Messi, Vieira across, can't stop him, still Messi, fantastic run, cuts inside again, still Lionel Messi looks for Larson, but it's deflected, what a run from Messi, just couldn't quite deliver the ball, but he's won it back again, before Vieira slides in, he beat Balzaretti, he beat Vieira, he cut inside, his cross was just deflected, That was fantastic play from Messi, who's had a couple of moments in this game, which have really caught the eye. Zabina struggled to deal with him in the first half. Balzaretti tasked with looking after the teenager this time. Here's Messi again, bursting forward to join in with the attack. Here's Van Bommel, just overplayed the pass, Larson. Larson played the pass, looking for the run of the Dutchman, but it was over here. Capello yet yeah, there, the Juventus manager out on the touchline. Giving some instructions to his players. Look at Van Bommel there, dispossess him. Vieira, and you just see this, this Larson pass, just a little bit too much on it for Van Bommel. But it's coming. You've Barca are growing into this game now. And here's Messi, more fantastic play. And in a horrible kick from Vieira. And that's a very, very deserved booking for Vieira. He's clearly frustrated with the way Messi's 
picked up the reins of this game over the last four or five minutes with some fantastic runs. If you look at Messi here, great touch, wiggles away from, from Vieira, and Vieira just bang, kicking the back of the young Argentine's legs and picks up a deserved yellow card on the hour mark. Free kick taken short to Messi. Hops inside, find Deco. Deco comes back to Messi. He's having more and more input in this game now. Oh, brilliant from the bit. But it's just, just escaped him actually. It looked like really, really, really good touch at first, but Gian Cheda managed to, to block, a, block Messi off in the end. And now here's Camoran Aci, switches the play to the right. Juventus look to go on an attack of their own here with Pesotto. Pesotto comes inside to Camoranesi. Dispossessed by Larson, but unfairly, the referee says. The Juventus free kick. The Camp Nou crowd growing a little bit frustrated here. Expecting a little bit more from the game, a little bit more from, from the home team. Here we go. Juventus in possession of the ball. Juventus in possession of the lead. 1 0. That Del Piero penalty in the first half. Del Piero has since been replaced by Adrian Mutu, but it's still his goal, the difference. It's Rafa Marquez now. Ball comes to the right, no. Just a little bit over hit, and Hocker is out, catches it. Just managed to stay inside his area. There were a few doubts he might not. Trezeguet lurking. But Poyal and Hocker have managed to see the job through. Just about, just about. Barcelona with a throw and inside the Juventus half. Here's Mark van Bommel. Ed Mielsen. Looking for the run of Gabri on the right, finds Gabri. Who, well defended by by Juventus there to force the corner. Which Barca will take short, will take quickly. Here's Lionel Messi. Messi will shoot. It's a wild shot, but he'll... And Barcelona are throwing on the far side from it. It was a well-worked corner. The shot was lacking at the end, but... Messi and Deco really pushing hard for a Barcelona equaliser. Here's Van Bommel. He finds Poyol. Poyol uses... Ed Mielsen cuts inside, rolls it through to, to Marquez now in a more advanced position. Little nudge from Gianni Cheda in the back of Marquez and it'll be a free kick to Barcelona in a promising position. Possibly a little bit too far out to shoot. But certainly in a position where some damage can be done. Gianni Cheda complaining, but wow, perhaps this is in shooting range. Messi's over the ball. Deco's there. It's Juventus lining the wall up. Marquez over the ball as well. Marquez may, may fancy this one. The Mexican is going to be Marquez. It's not. It's, well, it's taken in the end. It's rushed. There's a host of Barcelona players around the around the ball, and in the end, it's a disappointing result for Frank Rijkaard. He must surely be thinking of throwing Eto on now as Barcelona chase away back into this game. One nil down against Fabio Capello's Juventus side here in the 40th Joan Gamp Trophy. Barca with a corner. Punched away by Abiati. Collected by Van Bronckhorst. He uses Poyol. Back to Van Bronckhorst. Juventus under pressure. Balzaretti clears the lines. Only as far as as Deco will battle with battle with Blasi for the ball and it'll be a Juventus throw in. As Eto just goes through his final warm-up. Gianni Cheda 
Trezeguet. Matches the ball wide. Here's Vieira. Gianni Cheda. Good hassle in from, from Barcelona. Deco finds Larson. Larson out muscled. Comes all the way back to, to Cannavado, who will use his goalkeeper, Abiati. Capello suggests he goes long. He wants the ball in the Barcelona half. Van Bommel on Vieira there gives away a free kick to Juventus. Taken long. Looking for Adrian Mutu. The referee wants it taken again. Taken too quickly, he says. Maxi Lopez there on the Barcelona bench. Capello, the Juventus manager. Free kick is taken this time as Etu heads back to the to the dugout to cheers. He's imminent any minute. What will the score be when he comes on? Because Juventus are on the attack. Here's Vieira. That's Camoronesi, dispossessed. Only as far as Kovac. Goes all the way back to his keeper, Abiati. Abiati sends it long. Balazaretti sends it even longer. Cleared by Poyol. Vieira. And Kovac. Kovac sends it long now. Fantastic find. Mewtwo. Good defending from Ed Mielsen. Who forces it behind for a, for a Juventus corner. Great long ball. Found Mewtwo. Took it well. But Ed Mielsen was across to cover. And to force the corner for the Italian side. Which is going to be taken quickly. No, it's not. Well, it is in the end. And there's bodies in the box. Vieira's in there. Trezeguet, little touch. Poyol gets across. But in the end, Barcelona get it away. It'll be a throw into Juventus. Halfway inside the Barcelona half. Juventus still lead here at Camp Nou. Still that Alessandro Del Piero goal, the difference. After just 11 minutes, the Italian international converting from the penalty spot. Here's Messi now. Great ball. And now here's a chance for Barcelona for Iniesta. Iniesta into the area. Andres Iniesta, he scores. Barcelona are level. And it's two players who have come through the academy that have created and scored it. It came from nothing, really. The ball dropped to Messi in the middle. He fed Iniesta. There was acres of space for the Barcelona midfielder to run into. One-on-one -on -one with the Abiati. He poked it home. And it's Barcelona 1, Juventus 1 here in the Joan Gamper Trophy. And that's a goal Barcelona will be very proud of because of its La Masaya roots. Capello looks on. His side have seen their lead taken away from them. And it was that Lionel Messi, the 18-year-old. Look at the pass. Fantastic pass through the middle of the Barcelona, for the middle of the Juventus defence. Iniesta, who's been predominantly on the left in this second half, picked it up, cut inside. He had Larson available, but he had the cool head to slot it home himself. But the goal is all about the pass, really, from, from Leo Messi. Just 18 years old. What a performance he's put in today. Vieira and co on the Juventus team have resorted to kicking him. And that will be Iniesta's last, last contribution to this game because he'll be replaced now. Samuel Eto'o is coming on. There's a smile on Joanne Laporta's face, the president, who puts a lot of emphasis on on the Messiah, on bringing youth team players through. So to see that goal created by two of their own will be of particular encouragement to the Barcelona president. And now Eto'o is on as Barcelona look to go for the kill. They trailed 1-0. They're now level 1-1. They now have Eto'o on the pitch. Deco's on. Teenager Messi's putting in a fantastic performance. Can they go on and win this match against the Serie A side? Oh, that looked nasty from Mewtwo. That looks intentional as well. Marquez not making a big deal of it. But it looked like the Romanian put, a, put his studs in on the Mexican there. He's lucky Marquez has not made a big deal of that because it's gone unnoticed by the officials. Van Bronkost. Over 20 minutes still to play here at Camp Nou. Poyol. Here's Larson looking to get him behind. Flags up. There was an offside in the... Larson himself wasn't offside, but in the build-up there was 
wasn't offside. You see that messy pass again. Just look at that. Perfect. Sets Iniesta away. Who does the rest? Earns himself a pat on the back from the manager, Rijkaard. Messi again now. Lays it off to Deco. Good feet from Deco. Finds Messi again, who's got Gabri in support. Uses Gabri. Gabri again for Messi. Messi cuts inside. Cannavaro gets across to see it out. Here's Deco. Comes to the left to. And there's a long range shot, it's a goal! What a fantastic goal! Two goals in a matter of minutes. This one from Van Bronckhurst, what a strike! Barcelona from 1 0 down, lead 2 1. And that is a fine goal from the left back Giovanni Van Bronckhurst. It came from nothing again, like the equaliser. Look at Hankton Carter, he enjoyed that from his fellow countrymen. It was an absolute rocket from Gio. Not a lot Abiati could do with that from the looks of it in the Juventus goal. Touched across to Gio from Deco. One touch. Cameron Acey scrambling to get across. Can't get across and that arrows into the corner. Look at this. Deco just sets it. Touch from Van Bronckhuis. Sees the space. What a special strike. From the former Arsenal man in Barcelona. In the space of five minutes, I've turned this game on its head. Now it's Juventus doing the chasing, and they are chasing. That move comes to nothing. Here's Messi, and again. Deco, sorry. Again, drawing the foul. Juventus have struggled to deal with, with the touch, if you will, of Deco and Messi in this second half. And at last, Camp now have something to cheer about. They were getting a little bit frustrated with how the game was going when they were trailing but now they're back in not just back level they're back in front two very very nice goals Cannavaro sends it clear and as far as Marquez now Messi on the right again they just can't take the ball off him seemingly he's Gabri back to Ed Mielsen Gabri again, at Milson. Now to Poyo. Etu drops into space. Poyo says no, uses Deco instead. Back to Poyo. Now with Milson. Deco. Etu. That's Etu's first touch. It's coming on. It's a strange one. It'll be recovered by Van Bronckhorst. He goes back to Poyo. Now Horkera, the Substitute goalkeeper replaced Valdez at half time. Malo Camoranesi, perhaps been one of Juventus's most impressive performers. Gets into the area now. Camoranesi. Well, he wants a pass back. I'm not sure what exactly went on there. It looked like a touch from Ed Milson from Van Bommel, perhaps. That's what Kedo dived and took it. It was more confusion than anything perhaps contrived. It certainly wasn't a pass from Van Bommel, it was a touch. And Holkera was within his rights to grab that ball. Even if Cameron Acey disagreed. Cameron Acey again. Well intercepted by Rafa Marquez, who's brought down in the process by Adrian Mutu and Vieira, combination of the two perhaps. As Frank Rijkaard readies another change, his fifth change this will be. Giuliano Belletti, the Brazilian fullback, getting ready to come on. As Barca attack again, here's Van Bronckhorst. Now Etu, lovely dummy, gets the better of Pesotto. Still Etu now, advances towards the area. Couldn't quite find Van Bommel. And his Balzaretti gets the clear only as far as Ed Mielsen and now out to the right here's Messi again battling with Balzaretti the two, coll two collide and the referee says no, no foul on either player's part it will be a throw into Juventus 
Messi grabbed his thigh, but... He looks like he'd be fine to continue. Boletti ready and waiting the next chance we get, which will be now. Here he comes. Gabri will come off to be replaced by Belletti. Right back. First choice right back, you'd imagine. When the season gets started. It's Carlos Poyo. Van Broncos. Vieira now. Deco across to try and dis discard him of possession. He doesn't manage it, and Van Bommel tries to help out and gives away a foul. Near enough on the halfway line. Vieira, the man who drew that first half penalty, which saw Juventus take the lead through Del Piero. Of course, they're now behind 2 1, thanks to those Iniesta and Van Broncos goals. Into the final 15 minutes at camp now. Edmilson, who came on for Oliguer at half time, switches it out to Giovanni Van Bronckhurst. Barcelona 2 1 up in this 40th Joanne Gamper trophy match. Looking for a third here with Belletti galloping down the right, just on, fresh, crosses. Cut out. Larson was arriving. Cannavaro had to get rid of it, and he did. Abiati may have dealt with it, but he wasn't to know that. It'll be a Barcelona corner, taken short. Here's Deco. Uses Lionel Messi. Messi back to Deco. Deco wants a foul, doesn't get one. Messi wins the ball back for Barcelona. Still Messi. Messi goes for goal. Just wide. Well, it's comfortably wide in truth. But it's just another glimpse of, of the Argentine who's been one of the most impressive performers during this match. Capello is presumably being impressed by the performance of the Barcelona youngster. The teenager. This is a teenager just turned 18 this summer. Header clear by Cannavaro to Vieira. Drops to Messi. Messi and Vieira battling now. Vieira comes out on top. But there'll be a foul against Vieira, given in Barcelona's favour. As Juventus prepare another sub. Set against getting ready to bring on the Uruguayan Ruben Oliveira by the looks of it. Here's Trezeguet now. Camoranesi, he's got Mewtwo inside. He uses Trezeguet. Mewtwo. He's got Blasi on the left, who he uses. Here is Blasi. Blasi with the cross. Oh, he's come through the back. It's another penalty. It's a second penalty to Juventus. Mewtwo's won it. Blasi's cross. It's Edmilson who's given it away. He replaced Oliguer, who gave away the first penalty, and now he's given away a penalty himself. And his protestations are going to earn him a yellow card. It was an unnecessary challenge. He's come right through the back of Mewtwo. Blasi's cross here. Look at this. He's clattered through the back of him. It's a horrible challenge to make in the area. And it will be a second penalty of the match for Juventus. With just over 10 minutes to go, David Trezeguet, the French striker, with the chance to level things up again. Juve led 1-0, they now trail 2-1. Will it be 2-2? Horkera, the substitute goalkeeper, tasked with keeping out David Trezeguet, who looks to the sky, then to the referee, waiting for the signal. There it is, Trezeguet steps up. Goal! Goal for Juventus, it's 2-2. Two, two. 
Hilkera was all over the place. He came miles off his line. He went the wrong way and Trezeguet sent it into the corner. And Juventus are level at 2-2. Two, two. two penalties for the visitors for the Italian side. They've leveled things up once again. We're all square. Barca still in the referee's area about that penalty decision, but there's nothing they can complain about, really. It was reckless from Ed Nielsen, the substitute. And in the, in the midst of that Juventus equaliser, Capello does make another change. Mado Camoranesi is off, and Oliveira has come on. Here we go, 10 minutes to go. Will there be a winner or will we be treated to penalties? Juventus have already had two, will they have five more? Here's Belletti, under pressure now from, from Mewtwo, who gives the foul away. Marquez with the free kick. Nope, he'll leave it to Ed Mielsen. Takes it short to Belletti. Belletti back to Ed Mielsen. Mielsen to Poyo. Then Broncos, Poyo. Belletti who finds Deco back to Belletti. Lovely little exchange between the duo. Ball given away though now. And here's Vieira with a chance to lead a Juventus attack. Here's Oliveira, the substitute, looking for Mewtwo. It's a poor first, first contribution to the game from Oliveira, who spoons it straight over the top, and Hulkera grasps it gratefully and delivers it to the, to the right boot of Belletti. Comes inside to Ed Mielsen, looks to switch the play to the left, where Samuel Eto is. Eto collects the ball, uses Deco. Back to Eto. Now to Marquez, Rafa Marquez comes back to Deco. There's a run from Gio on the left. Deco instead chooses to go to the right. Finds Messi. Messi with a lovely chest. Van Bommel gets forward. He's ricocheting around. Here's Larson. Last chance for Larson. No, scrambled away. That was a fantastic move from Barcelona. Deco to the chest of Messi, to the run of Van Bommel, but it just wouldn't go in. And it'll be a Juventus throw in now, deep inside their own half, inside the final minutes of this game. Capello angry. Really angry, as you can see from his actions on the touchline, the Italian coach. Barcelona's throwing cleared away by Juventus, and it'll be another throwing. Which had Milson will leave to Belletti. He's got Van Bommel in support, he's got Messi down the line. Messi he chooses up against Balzaretti. Cuts inside. More good play from Messi. More fantastic play. Finds Belletti. Back to Messi. Messi gets into the area. He's into the area. He's gonna pull it back. What's he got to cross? A fantastic cross from Messi, but it's cut out by Aviati. Juve really, really can't deal with him. We've said it once, we'll say it again, but it's been a fantastic performance from the Argentine. Go. And there is chance of his name going around camp now, now, following this fantastic performance. His Marquez, Messi. Now Deco. Marquez to Poyol. Poyol's got Va and look at him, Messi there. He's certainly earned his name being chanted today. Will he have one final say in this game? Could he even score the winner? Marquez, Eto. Now Deco looks for the run of Larson. Flag stays down. Larson with a chance. Not a bad effort. It's wide of the far post. Abiati dived. He wasn't sure where it was going. Good work from Eto. Johan Cruyff there watches on. 
Good work from Eto'o, and then it was Deco's pass, which Sab Larson. Is Barcelona ready one final change? Maybe they make another one, but there's only five minutes remaining as Maxi Lopez gets ready to come on. That could have been Henry Glasson's last contribution to this game, that shot over the bar. We could get one more chance here. Is that Samuel Etu? Pasotto stayed down. Etu carries on. He finds Messi. Here's Messi up against Balanzet. Messi with a shot deflected and wide. Wow, what a performance again. We're saying it. Perhaps with Pasotto down, Etu shouldn't have continued, but he did. And he found Messi. Took a touch, jinked inside. Balazadetti couldn't deal with him. The shot was deflected just wide. Abietti was scrambling. As we see the reason Pesotto stayed down, it was a nasty fall. Perhaps there wasn't anything cynical about the foul or there was no foul even from, from Etu. But it looks quite nasty. He's in quite a lot of pain there, Pesotto. It's his shoulder, perhaps he landed awkwardly. Doesn't, doesn't look maybe whether it'd be right, right to continue or not. He's maybe going to have to go off. Before then, though, Barcelona are going to have to make, a, make another change. It's uh, Henry Glassen who's coming off. And on comes Maxi Lopez for the final five minutes. To try and grab the goal that will keep us away from penalties. Inventors, of course, have already scored two penalties during this game. Two different takers, Del Piero in the first half, Trezeguet in the second. Barca's goals coming from Iniesta. And from Giovanni Van Bronco, it's an absolute rocket. As Pasotto hobbles off as well, he's perhaps going to be replaced for the final four or five minutes after falling awkwardly on his back. Marcelo Zalayeta, the man ready to come on. The Uruguayan. Yeah, Pasotto won't continue. Here he is, Zalayeta. As Barca prepare another corner. Deco and Messi in the corner. This time it's delivered. Flicked header onto the far post where Etu was waiting. And it just flashed across too quickly. Marquez flicked it on. Etu jumped. And the ball just escaped him. It came just too quickly and he couldn't re-divert it back towards the goal. As we see Deco's corner, Marquez's flick. Neto just couldn't direct the ball back into the goal, which would have surely been the winning goal if he could have done. Here we go, Marquez wins it in the air. Here's Deco. Lovely touch, he's got a run from Eto'o. He's got Messi to the right. He's got Maxi Lopez through the middle, but he gives it away. Instead, here's Zalayeta. His first involvement in the game. Does well to skip away from his man. Uses Blasi. Blasi comes inside to Trezeguet. No, he doesn't. He switches the play. As Juventus look for the winner now. What have they got? Zalayeta. Trezeguet, back to Vieira. Oliveira now, but flags up, offside. Against Oliveira, and it will be a free kick to Barcelona inside the final few minutes of this game. Barcelona 2, Juventus 2. Juventus led in the 10th minute, Alessandro Del Piero scoring the penalty, which was given away by Oliveira. Lionel Messi's incisive pass created the equaliser for Andres Iniesta in the 65th minute. And moments later, Van Bronco smashed home the second to give Barcelona the lead. But Ed Milson, with a clumsy challenge on Adrian Mutu, gave David Trezeguet the chance to score Juventus' second penalty. And he took that opportunity. And that's how we are. That's how things stand in the final few minutes of this 40th Joan Gamper trophy match. As Oliveira, with the chance to cross, sends the ball in. And there's the far... And no. Juventus is desperate for a third penalty. Mutu arrived at the far post. He felt there was a handball. As he tried to help it back across goal, but it wasn't given by the ref. The ref saw nothing against Belletti. And now it's Barcelona on the attack with Deco. 
He finds Etu, does he? No, good goalkeeper from Abiati. He's alert, quick off his line, collects the ball and sends Juventus on their way once again. Oliveira now. Looking for Zalieta, cut out, is Etu. What can he do? He's got Maxi Lopez for support. Rafa Marquez joining him. It's Marquez he looks for. Here's Lionel Messi. Messi with a shot deflected and wide. It'll be a corner to Barcelona, but what a chance that was. Balzoretti with the, with the block by the looks of it. But it was Messi almost arriving. As we just see Mewtwo's claim for a penalty there. You've seen them perhaps given it's high up on Belletti's arm. There's not a lot he could have done. As Barcelona make another change, Ludovic Juli about to come on. And it's Messi who will come off after a performance of real quality. And there's chance of Messi once again around Camp Nou. They know what sort of a performance they've just seen. He might just be 18, but there's such huge expectations for this kid, which he still is, just a teenager. And the... The feeling around the ground is that they've just witnessed a fantastic performance from a fantastic player. As Barcelona cross from the corner and it's headed wide by Giuliano Belletti. As we head into stoppage time here, Barcelona 2, Juventus 2. On the cusp of penalties. Juventus have a goal kick. Will there be one more chance for either side to win this without the need for spot kicks as we see Messi sat on the bench next to Larsen? Juventus look for a free kick, but there's nothing doing there. It'll be a Barcelona throwing. Can they be quick? Can Van Broncos be quick? Oliveira stays down. He wants the free kick. He's saying he was caught in the face. Barca saying, get up, let's get on with it. Here we go. Deco, Maxi Lopez. Cut out by Gianni Ceda. Here's Oliveira, he's got Zalieta in support. Dispossessed by Etu, run from Lopez. Steady looks for the run of Julie, just on. But he can't find him and Abiati's off his line. Would have been some impact from Ludovic Julie if he could have got on to the end of that and scored Barcelona's third goal which would surely have been the winning goal. Zabiati sends it long, Etu looks up. Offside against Zalayeta. Be a Barcelona free kick. One final chance perhaps to send the ball into the area. Belletti gets outside Blasi. Comes back inside to Deco. Beats his man, finds Belletti again. Belletti's got few options in the middle. He's up against Balenzetti. Balzaretti is beating him for no. Good defending from Cannavaro who saw, saw where the ball was going in behind and got across to cover it. But it will be a throw in to Barcelona. Can they summon one last burst of energy? Can they create one last chance? Maxi Lopez waits in the middle. Belletti has the ball. Takes it to Julie. Good touch from Julie. Here's Maxi Lopez in the area. Still Maxi Lopez. But he's just bundled out and Juventus get it clear. And now can they attack? Here's Vieira. Zalayeta, but there's four Barcelona shirts around him. Belletti wins the ball. And it's another chance for Julie now. Julie racing through. Can he get he pass one? Fouled by Cannavaro. It'll be a free kick. Well, it's sloppy, but it's exciting, this finish to the game. It's a yellow card to Cannavaro for his role in that foul on Julie. Giving Barcelona a free kick. Giving Barcelona a chance to win this. Joan Gampa trophy match and going to the 2005-2006 season on a real high. Maxi Lopez and Milson in the box. Cross delivered to the far post and it's just escaped the run. And there's the full-time whistle. It's finished Barcelona 2, Juventus 2. There will be penalties. Juve led through a penalty and equalised through a penalty. The first dispatched by Alessandro Del Piero. 
after Ole Gare had fouled Patrick Vieira, the second by David Trezeguet after Ed Mielsen, who came on for Ole Gare at half time, had fouled Adrian Mutu. In between those two Juventus penalties, Barcelona had equalised through Andres Iniesta, who was set up by a fantastic Lionel Messi through ball. Lionel Messi had a fantastic game. Moments after that Iniesta goal, Van Bronca scored an absolute screamer from all of 30 yards, rifling a left-footed effort into the corner. Christian Abiati with very little chance in the, in the Juventus goal. And then that's how things stayed following that Trezeguet penalty. It finished 2-2 between these two giants from, from La Liga and Serie A. And it will come down to spot kicks, the, lu the luxury of spot kicks, the luck, if you like. Attention will turn to the two goalkeepers, Horquero in goal for Barcelona. He came on for Victor Valdez at halftime. Christian Abiati in goal for Juventus, not Gianluigi Buffon. As Hank Tenkati and Rijkaard just take this chance to offer some advice to their players. Ahead of the shootout here at camp now. Taking names, Capello and co. You'd imagine Trezeguet will step up. Given he scored one in normal time. Del Piero taken off at half time, of course. Maxi Lopez, was he brought on late on with penalties in mind? Ludovic Juli too. Samueletto, second half substitute. Didn't have much of a look at goal. He worked hard, he played on the left, came on for Iniesta after the midfielder had just given Barcelona their equaliser. Deco came on in the second half as well, replaced Ronaldinho. You'd imagine he'd fancy a penalty. See Balzaretti there, the right back, talking with Abiati. Poyle having a joke there, you wonder if he'd take a penalty. Not known for his set plays, rather for his defending and his aerial ability. And it's Barcelona who will take the first spot kick by the looks of things. So over to Juventus goalkeeper Christian Abiati, who will face Deco. Who set up the Van Bronckhurst goal? Played well in the second half as Barca fought back from one down to lead 2 1. Now, what's Deco got to say from 12 yards? Barca with the first spot kick in this shootout. Deco v Abiati. Deco for Barcelona. Goal. Calm from, calm from Deco from the Portuguese international who slots it into the bottom left corner. Abiati went the wrong way and Barca have the lead, 1-0. Thanks to that Deco goal. And now the pressure's on Juventus to, uh, to respond to that Deco spot kick. And it's over to Hulkerda to try and keep out the Italians. 
It'll be Adrian Mutu. The Romanian striker steps up. Mutu, goal. Good penalty. Very good penalty for Mutu. Side netting. Well, Kera went the right way. But it was one of those that you don't often see saved. 1-1 one, one in the shootout. Deco for Barcelona. Mewtwo there for Juventus with a very, very cool spot kick. Now it's over to Samuel Etu for Barcelona. Can he extend their lead? Etu against Abiati. Etu places the ball. Laporta watches on. Samueletto is a started run up. He's hit, he's hit the post. It's a miss from Samueletto. Advantage Juventus in this shootout. Etu's missed the target. It looked like it might creep in at first. Abiasi went the right way. But Etu saw his spot kick hit, hit the post and go back into play. And it's Barcelona 1, Juventus 1 in these spot kicks. But Juventus do have a penalty in hand which will be taken by Oliveira, the substitute, the second half substitute, Ruben Oliveira, the Uruguayan, steps up against Torquera. He scores just once again. Torquera went the right way, but it just crept underneath him. Barcelona one, Juventus two. Juventus with the, with the advantage now with three spot kicks to go. Up steps Rafa Marquez. Can he bring Barcelona level in this spot in this shootout? Marquez looks down at the ball. Abiati takes a couple of steps forward. Rafa Marquez. He's missed as well. He's missed the target like Eto. He's blazed over. And Barca are in real trouble in this shootout now. Capello must be thinking it's one because it's 2-1 to Juventus and they have a penalty in hand. It looks like everything is in place for Juventus to win the 40th Joan Gamper trophy match. And stepping forward is going to be Patrick Vieira, who won the first penalty, which Del Piero converted all the way back in the first half now. Vieira has the chance to put Juventus into a 3-1 lead with just two penalties remaining. Patrick Vieira against Torquera. Vieira, goal. And the writing is on the wall for Barcelona now. They need to score two and save two. It's Barcelona one, Juventus three. Torquera went the wrong way. Vieira's penalty was very good, very calm. And there was nothing Hocara could do. Juventus have taken three, scored three. And now Boletti is going to have to score this or it's curtains for Barcelona. Giuliano Boletti, Barcelona's fourth penalty taker, steps up. Boletti, goal. Small bit of hope for Barcelona. He sends Abiati the wrong way. But if Juventus score this, it's all over. And there's something poetic about Juventus winning this on a penalty shootout after getting to the penalty shootout courtesy of two goals from the penalty spot. The man with the chance to win it is David Trezeguet, the man who scored the equaliser. David Trezeguet to win the game for Juventus. Scores again. His second penalty, and that's it. It's all over. Juventus have won the penalty shootout. Juventus have won the 40th Joan Gamper Trophy after a 4-2 win on penalties following a 2-2 draw in normal time. It's a small disappointment for Barcelona, but they can still take encouragement, not least from the performance of 18-year-old Lionel Messi going into the 2005-2006 season. There's reasons to believe they can be successful. After all, this was just a penalty shootout defeat to a very, very good Juventus side. 
who called on good performances from the likes of Cameron Ace, Patrick Vieira, Fabio Cannavado in defence. And they, not Barcelona, will win the 40th Joan Gamba Trophy at Camp Nou here in Catalonia. Just the formalities to be sorted out now. Poyo looks on. Poyo won't like losing any game, regardless of it's a, whether it's a, a friendly or a penalty shootout or, or anything. Poyo wants to win. Poyo's a winner, and that's what makes him so important to this Barcelona side. The captain, the centre half, the leader. Victor Valdez there, who was taken off at half time for Jorquera, who couldn't save any of the any of the Juventus penalties. Ronaldinho as well also just played the first half. He was taken off at halftime for Deco. Deco scored Barcelona's first penalty. Javi there didn't even play today. Iniesta did play. Tipped to be Javi's there one day, although they perhaps go on to play in the same team for quite some time. And he has to score in the Barcelona equaliser. From that fantastic goal from Messi. As they just get the pitch ready for the presentation. There is a trophy. It's not called the Joanne Gamper trophy for, for no reason. It's the 40th time it's taken place. And he has to Van Broncos there and chatting with Ronaldinho. Van Broncos, the scorer of... Barcelona sensational second goal, which at the time looked like maybe being the catalyst for Barcelona to go on and win this game by two, three goals, maybe. And there's Gabri, who played right back before being replaced by Belletti in the second half. And Capello with his victorious Juventus players going to the Serie A season full of confidence. People seep out of the stadium here at Camp Nou. Maybe if Barca had won, there'd have been a few more people hanging around to see the presentation, but it's unlikely people will be particularly keen to see Juventus lift the, lift the Joan Gamper trophy, which is now almost ready for, for its presentation. Frank Rankard, as we've said, Right, couple will have plenty of positives to take from this game. Deco played well as a second half substitute. Messi, who played the full 90 minutes more enough before being replaced in stoppage time by Ludovic Juli, produced a fantastic performance, and his name was echoing around Camp Now when he was replaced. He really is a star in the making. Just 18 years old, don't forget. Made his debut last season in a 1 0 win against Espanyol in the Catalan derby at Montjuic at the Olympic Stadium. Joanne Laporta, the Barca president, heads down to oversee the presentation to Juventus. And you see Balazzaretti there, one of the men tasked with dealing with young Messi today, who impressed so much in this Gamper match. All set now for the for the trophy presentation, the runners-up go first. Carlos Poyo, the Barcelona captain, heads up, shakes hands. He will take the runners-up trophy for Barcelona. As he shakes hands, and there it is. And next up will be Juventus to claim the winner's trophy as Poyo takes the runners-up back, back to his Barcelona teammates. And now, just a small matter of the formalities, and it will be David Trezeguet who captained Barca Juventus after Del Piero went off to collect the trophy for Juventus following their 4-2 win on penalties. Trezeguet with the equaliser and the winning penalty handed the Joan Gamper trophy, which he lifts in front of his teammates following that win. It finished 2-2 in normal time, but Juventus 
beating Barcelona 4-2 after the penalty shootout here at the 40th Joan Gamper Trophy.